Okay. I think maybe I should be fine. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I feel awful today, but... <sighs> Life's what it is, you know? Just... <laughs> what a vibe. Otherwise, you're left with anger and hatred, and you don't need that in your life. You know, you just you gotta chill, man. You gotta chill out and keep being, you know, the best in whatever magic you are. That does remind me, actually. I would like to go to. This website. Do one thing. Nice. No, I don't need to worry about that. And we'll shut that one down. Right. Okay. <sighs> right, let me stand up because I'm sick of being a lazy pile of garbage. Right. Oh, come here, you. Right. You stay right there. <sighs> Let me give myself, like, a bit of wire. Ugh. <sighs> right. Ugh. Okay. All right. Oh, I had a breakdown. Right. That's the only reason I'm in here. Right. It's like I tried to do something. Um. <laughs> you know, I tried to. Uh. -oh. Something isn't stable. Something's not connected right. Either that or my white is dying. That's not good. So, here's what's happened, right? Basically, I went. online and. It's been on my mind since... <sighs> when was it? Wednesday? Was it Wednesday when I... No, 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 no. Uh... Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I did one of these. Um... Where I would... We'll do that because that just makes things easier. Right. We did one of these. I practically just talked the entire time, right? And I felt great. I felt, I don't know, enthralled in what I was doing and all that. And we were in the ball pit world. We were in a public instance, right? And I'm not going to lie. I felt pretty good. Give me a moment. I need to make sure there's not a filter on this. Uh... 
Threads. Ugh, no wonder that it was like cutting out the other day. Right, we rid got rid of the filter. Anyway, story was going blah 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 blah. And we were practically all right. I was, I was kind of bringing these nice conversations, whatever. I am very emotional and I have figured out that I can't control it. Um, I have severe social anxiety. Um, and I don't know how to deal with it because Usually, like people would be like, "Right, here's how you deal with it. What you need to do is you need to go and talk to people." <laughs> oh, that's that's genius. Why didn't I think of that? The issue is I can't. I am not stable-minded. That's the problem. And. That was the figure out that I did on Tuesday. When I figured out, huh, why can't I stay in a world with people? Why can't I um, talk to this person? <laughs> Granted, they were in half like dressed and uh, I can't show that, but that's just excuses. Why can't I speak to them? Like, I put my hand up, I waved hello. Hi. And I was just like, okay, no, I, I, got, I got to run. I got to run. <sighs> My mind's so fried. I'm just like, and the worst part about it, right, is that I know I can fix it. That's the worst part. I know damn well that if I actually did like have that confidence to go up and speak to someone and have like a genuine conversation with them <sighs> like you know I'd be <sighs> I would be you know kind of stable and able to deal with it but Now I'm just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, now I gotta run, because I am not right, I have a problem, but it's a hard problem to deal with, and more people deal with it than you know, right? It's, it's tough, right, and it's not just that there are other things right there's other problems going on in my mind like i'm gonna try and find out if i can get like a diagnosis for adhd and things i'm gonna i need to go and get a actual glasses prescription because i'm still running off a two-year-old glasses prescription um so obviously like yeah, the more and more I use my old glasses, the more I could mess my eyesight up, and that's annoying because I don't want to mess my eyesight up. Like, and then you know we just roll on to like more issues and things. Like, um, you know, if people are like, hey, guess what? We're having this like party, do you wanna like come along? And in my mind, I'm genuinely like, yeah, all right. Um, that sounds like fun. I'd love to, I'd love to go to the party and things. And then at the same time, my mind's like, but do you really wanna go? Because what you can do is, um, whoa, how, Wow, I'm really far forward.
Let's bring you closer. Wait, the idea is right. My brain I, initially, like my instant reaction is, yeah, I'd love that. Then my secondary reaction is once my brain has finally processed the idea. Hmm. You know what? No, I'd rather stay at home in bed because that's where I feel safe. Because I'm just a shoddy human being, I guess. It's a floor I can't handle and ultimately I'm doomed to fall under to a category that's like you're trash, you don't deserve things, it's like, you know and all of the time it comes across as like an onset for depression and things it's like, oh god, I don't need that in my life and it's like I, I, it's not like I'm here saying, hey, but you know we should do that um and I don't want to do these things. It's just that if I know if I went out and I actually went to like a party or something and my brain said, we probably shouldn't have done this. For the rest of that time, I'm going to be like under a spew of uh, like stress induced anxiety because it's not where I need to be. It's not where I want to be. And my mind's instantly just like, I told you this was a bad idea. I told you this was a bad idea. We should just go. We should go home. We should go home. Oh. I'm just like, forget this. This is this is like trash. We shouldn't be here. Uh, and I'm going to be miserable. And like, what should have been a happy experience is going to be trash. Because... Like... Ugh. I'm in a, like a spew, you know, I'm like, I'm in a bad place. I'm trying to get back on schedule too. Like, trying to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix things so that... When it ultimately comes down to me finally, like on Tuesday that I'm back in the right headspace because here's the thing right ultimately ultimately I work a full time job right which makes things sometimes difficult um, so Monday through Friday I am practically working the whole time And, well, right now, I'm okay. I feel like my workload's going to increase. All the time, my mind's like, what's the point? So you just, you just like, geez, like, maybe I should, like, you know, just end myself and just be free with it because, like, there's nothing in this life, you know, it's like... Blah, 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 blah. And obviously that's like, that's like intrusive thoughts and things. And, you know, that's like a, that's a clear like thing for depression. And it feels bad, man. Because you never feel good enough. That's the problem. You never feel like you're worth the time of day but ultimately you're just like hmm what is the point you just feel like trash then and this is why I think like I've got ADHD as well because I'm kind of thinking about like times in my life where I've like done stuff and there's no real reasoning 
behind Y. Let's go and sit on the couch while I talk. Don't worry, I'll fix this. Right, so I'm I'm like thinking about like times in my life where I've just gone <laughs> Yeah, this is this is pretty cool, you know. Um I'm doing stuff and I'm just like oh like that's cool that's cool and all of a sudden I'll just be like right forget this shut everything down I'm going to do something else like it's to me um ultimately a thing about um, having no patience and an inability to concentrate. You know, that's like what flows from my mind. So like, let's say I'm working on this, right? Let's say I'm working on this, right? It's obviously flawed. What I need to do is I need to go into Blender take this model into Blender, redo all the architecture, I need to um, well what I need to do is I need to actually build a base model myself that isn't V-Roid. That's going to take some time and time is not something I can particularly manage well. And I'm just trying to like make do with what I can manage with right now, which is why like a diagnosis for ADHD would help because I get medication for it, which would mean obviously I can process things better. I'd be able to manage. But if it's not ADHD, then what is it? I don't want to come out and say, hey, look, it's ADHD, blah, 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 blah. But because it might not be. That's that's the problem, right? It's why I don't I don't list it because why would I? I feel like sometimes things that get listed onto Twitch are a bit meh. Now Why would I list LGBT? Mm, that's just because, like, that's such a broad thing. I could be anything. I, I could be lesbian. I could be trans. I could be intersex. I could be queer. I could be whatever you want, basically. Um, I'm not really telling people much about me there. I'm just telling them, like, I belong to this, like, subcategory of people who, you know, go against society's norms, I guess. And obviously that like gets some that gets some people's nerves, you know, it's like I think that's like another like indicator of stress, especially here. Because we've we've got everyone out for us at the minute. Um LGB Alliance. We've got all these like uh women's groups apparently that you know that just gender critical uh, we've got all sorts of people just roaming around the UK who are just like yeah, yeah these trans people right absolutely disgusting worthless human beings I mean how's that supposed to make us feel you know When the truth and reality is, we aren't a threat to anybody. 
I'm not going to say that every trans person is not a threat, right? Because obviously there are bad people who are trans. <laughs> Just like there are bad people who are not trans. Right? Doesn't matter what category you fall under. You can still be an absolutely disgraceful person. So just because I fall under a category doesn't make me a piece of garbage. Especially when they're recycling like all the old stuff from like the 90s that they're trying to say, oh, you know, this is this is this. I just feel like, right, you know what I'm going to do? I don't know. Especially, especially considering like the stuff that I saw the government was going to do today. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sat here thinking, this country is going to die, <laughs> and a horrible, horrible death. They were talking about taking away the Human Rights Act, which is practically like one of the very few acts that keeps people like me safe. They were about removing the Human Rights Act. <laughs> I have never ever seen such a pathetic attempt. Like, I hope, I hope the MP of uh, of Blackpool South. I hope he loses his seat. Like, honestly, I hope he loses his job. Politicians are supposed to work for the people, right? And they're very good at framing it, you know, like, oh, look, we're working for you, we're working for you. My MP doesn't work for me. My MP is a total piece of garbage. But what else can you say about the Conservative Party? <sighs> In case you're not aware, I, I disgrace the Conservative Party. I hate them. With a passion. And they make life very hard sometimes. And how they keep getting back in, I will never know. Well, no, I do know. I do know how they get back in. It's called rigged elections. Um, having people like on your side and things. You know, I know people who have these connections and oh, yeah, you know, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this, blah, 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 blah. You know, all the, all the like corrupt and ridiculous people in the world who think hey I am the top dog you will listen to me you will do whatever I tell you to do nah forget that I'm like my own person and if you think you can control me let's just see how uh, how that ends shall we Because his his big kicker, okay, is especially for like you know, um, like let's say let's just say like an MP decided to do that to me. I'm 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 much better than you are. Uh, if you if you start speak out against me, I'll I'll ensure that you are arrested and things. It's like, <laughs> yeah, go on, fabricate some crimes then. Go and fabricate crimes. Because, I will tell you right now, if you think that whatever mad stuff you can come up with in that very small brain of yours, um, I will literally list actual crimes that you've committed on the record, with evidence, and we'll just see who gets jail time. You know, but if the courts are then bribed, 
that work that I put in there means nothing. We are lit li literally, we are living under criminals. And that's what annoys me. Is the criminal scum of the earth who are actual scum people, not people trying to like supply things for their families and things and trying to look after people. No, people who are out for themselves, right? Out for their own like mad benefit. Just going like, ah, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh, like, yeah. Um, I almost guarantee like a lot of this, like, you know, transphobia and stuff comes from um a higher up conservative person who was like oh yeah i tried to take a transgender person to bed one time um, i thought she was an actual woman but then i you know, I, took, I took her up like all the clothes up and then, oh and then that was it it killed the move for me it killed the move she tried to have tried to have a way with me it's like look the majority of trans people aren't like that the majority that I have spoken to are very nice people. And, you know, while I might have, like, bad social ability, I can tell when I'm speaking to a very dodgy person. And trust me, a lot of the people I speak to, I get vibes of chill with them but I don't particularly think that people are good just because they have chill vibes I get feelings of anxiety but I can tell when I'm talking to a nice person and then I can Definitely tell fake nice. I can tell that whole, oh, we're so happy, like you're here, blah, blah, blah. Thank you very much. Blah, blah, blah. So I can tell that fake nonsense from a mile away. It's like, you don't need to pretend with that kind of thing. You know, you, if you're going to pretend to be nice to me, just be, just be a douche to me. Because to me, it's the same. Whereas if you're being genuinely nice, it shows. I'm trying to rant because I need to rant because then I can become happy again. So this is particularly probably not a nice watch, to be honest. I'm just, I'm, I'm very angry at the world at the minute. And I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to, like, fix it. And people will be like, yeah, you just need to see the positivity in the world. It's like, I do see the positivity in the world. The negativity is all around the positivity, though. So you see one positive thing, and you're like, oh, like, that's adorable. That's cute. Life's really worth living. And then you just see, um, oh, look five people murdered in homophobic massacre <sighs> thanks twitter and i'll lose my mind at that because i'm just like <sighs> so i'm just i'm just sat there thinking is this what the world is Although the positive side of it that I did see was um, the with um, all this like homophobic stuff and what have you, is that apparently a lot of it is perfectly normal. Um, and well, I'm not gonna say that it's perfectly normal, but it, what I mean to say is it's. Mm, let me try and word this right. Is it's not apparent as online world makes you think it is. 
So it's kind of like transphobia with me, right? So it'd be like coming out in the real world and being like, hmm, guess what? Like, you know, to whoever I have said things to outside of family, I've had absolutely zero word back, just like, you be whoever you need to be. Because it makes no difference to us. There's been no words said, no anger, no hatred, nothing disgraceful said to me. It's like, that is just exactly what we strive for and aim for. You know, work's been okay about it so far. Um, it's like, you hear all these stories of like, transphobia, homophobia, whatever, um, in the UK and stuff. And it's like, I've encountered none of it. But it's that one time that you just mind and your brain then runs into like, overdrive and it's like, what if it happens? What if it happens? What if it happens? And then I'm just sat here like, yeah. What if it does happen? And then I'm just left to nothing. Because in life, like, all it takes is one moron. And that could be it for you. Especially over here, like, um, it's not so apparent in the US to see it go down this way. Usually it's, like, guns and stuff that do it in the US. Um, but, like, here, the main thing that's rampant is knife crime. Because while guns are illegal, it's much harder to acquire a weapon here than it is a knife. I could literally buy a knife online now, get it delivered, and it's perfectly legal. This is the, right. This is the issue with UK laws. It's perfectly legal to own a knife so long as it never leaves your internal property. And that's exactly what I mean. The UK is such a backwards place. Like, same with name changes. It's like. There's no self-ID, but there's no concept of a legal name either. It's like, <laughs> excuse me. It's like, you either go one way or you, the other, and the UK seems to like border everything. And it really, really, like, bizarre my mind about it because I'm sat here thinking right the UK is like a decent place but at the same time we're ruled by a government that ultimately does not care about us <laughs> um Which, to me, just means... Is this actually a place worth living in? Um, granted, I've got a job, I've got people around me. But... If one day I walk out there and just come across that one wrong person... That could be it. And that's nothing to do with being like trans or a member of LGBT you know it's just that's just life dude stab to the heart stab to the gut you know it's like 60 quid could end your life So that's depressing to think about it that way. Yeah. 
you know, especially in like rougher areas as well. Because the government doesn't care about them. Like, for instance, like, I know for a fact that knife crime is a problem in where I'm from. So I don't go out, I don't drink, I don't do anything, right? I sit on the side of protection in order to keep myself safe. Whereas I've known people who have gone out, people who've been like hit and stabbed and stuff, and they've lived. But they say that it was the worst thing they ever did. I'm just like, I don't want to go through that. And it's people who think they're big and hard and, you know, just, oh, look at me. I've got a knife. I thought I would like shank it into someone. Yeah, well, mate, you're not, you're not hard. And I'll face facts. Like, I, I wanted to learn, like, abilities and ways to take people down and to, like, you know, disarm people and stuff. I've wanted to learn that, but nowhere teaches it yet. The only way to do it is to go and study like jujitsu or something like that, because it gives you the like ability to like know how to deal with that situation. Not necessarily how to disarm somebody, but it gives you a fighting chance. And, like, I'd love to see that, like, I'd love to do it, but I just, I'm not, I'm not the person for it. I'm socially, like, I wouldn't be able to manage. Ah. Uh. Right. Anyway, that's rant time over. <sighs> Positivity. Um, I bought a notebook today. My therapist has suggested that I try to manage my time better. Um... And the best way of doing that, he said, was you need to kind of figure out what it is that's causing you to kind of deviate off. So what you need to do is tell yourself, right, I'm going to do this and I need to achieve this in this time. So I've created... I bought this very particular notebook, which, you know, quite apparently came on, like, sale um, very recently for quite cheap, to be honest. Um, it comes with, like, a planner, a project thing. It comes with lines and things like that. So you just write down what you want, scan it, upload it. Um, I can send that straight to Trello, which is instantly amazing. Um, and I'm trying to, trying to deal with, uh, like projects I'm dealing with. I'm trying to deal with all this other hoo-ha that's going on in the world. But if my mind can't focus and say, right, I need to deal this, deal with this and, and then I'm just like, right, I should do that. Because I'm not... Here's the thing, right? When I did Halloween Spooks, which... I enjoyed. It was mentally straining on me, but I enjoyed it. When I did that, I wrote a story. That story 
It wasn't particularly long. It wasn't detailed. It wasn't written properly. But that took me three days. Straight. Spending about five hours each time. Each day on it. My ultimate goal was to write two, <laughs> but the problem was like you start writing and then your mind would wander. So then you get distracted. Of course, YouTube's always accessible. Um, and it's not effective to block YouTube either because YouTube's full of actual good resources. Which ultimately makes me think that I am doomed because I could put a restriction down. I could block Twitch. I could block um, all these like other sites, Twitter and whatever else. I could block them at a moment's notice from such a time till another time. But what you've got to remember is I have that knowledge of how to remove that block. And when you fall into that like ADHD pattern, where you're like, I can't concentrate on this, right, I'm going to go and do something else. You just be like, well, I'm sorry, that's wrong to say. I shouldn't be saying that it's an ADHD pattern. Just say when you fall into that pattern where you can't concentrate, you just be like... Right, take that block off. I'm reading Twitter. If I didn't know how to remove that block, or that block was hard-coded in, that would require, like, firmware reboots and stuff, maybe then it's a bit difficult. Where's well, literally software on a router? That's easy. It's like, pe people, like, I could overload people with technical knowledge. That's the problem. I am too technically knowledgeable for my own good. Like, knowing how a computer works is, is very dangerous. It's very dangerous to know that. Outside of like, oh yeah, you know, like, a graphics card does the graphing processing. It's like, yeah, I knew that. Thanks. Thanks for that one, Professor. But it's like, understanding how the computer operates. Understanding how, like, drivers work. How other stuff works. How all the, like, business stuff works. It's like... And it's not just Windows, because once you understand Linux, your world opens. Because that gives you the ability to do whatever you want. If you know what exactly it is that you want. You want a computer that hosts a web server. Install Apache. Run it on a, win on a Linux machine. Go and buy a domain name. Get a SSL certificate for it. Sign that certificate. Get that on the server. There you go, you got a web page. You have a domain. Anyone can access it at any time. And with the lights of AWS and Azure, that process is only getting easier. It makes me think like how much AWS and stuff really assists with like, you know, scams and things like that. The whole, this is an urgent message from Microsoft. Your computer has been infected with a virus in order to assist you in removing this virus. We need you to call this number. Oh. 
eight, three, two, five, seven, four, six, nine, five, four, to talk to a representative who will be able to assist you in getting your computer back to a stable condition. It's like... Look, do you know how easy it is to take a single web server that would be running on, uh, I don't know, Azure, so I'd assume Ubuntu. Take that one web server, then just make a load of clones of that same web server, all hosting like the same thing on different domains. Because instantly like, an IP would be blocked, boom. That one's turned off, deleted, another clone. It's like, it's so simple when you know how it works. But if I ask someone, I don't know, like if I asked my mother to do it, she'd be like, I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> and it's practically just because like you've never dealt with it, but when you know, it's like Azure and AWS, it's so simple. It's absolutely ridiculous because when you work in a place where you're actually working with actual servers yourself and you're doing all the self-hosting and stuff, like I do as a hobby, then it's like you have to learn all that. And that is ridiculously hard because you're like why doesn't this work i need to make sure this is secure because it's running over an actual network <sighs> whereas i don't care if they ddos microsoft i don't care if they ddos amazon it's like i can't good luck with that but it's like when you do it yourself you're like you've got to be careful right you want to make sure you're doing things right and you have precautions in place and you know that's another thing right it's not just easy to host scams these days it's just as easy to ddos someone ddosing someone's really simple surprisingly if you didn't know that All you need is the IP. And that's ridiculous. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. But uh, I will tell you that that's all you need. It's stupid. How, how easy. How easy it actually is to do that. Is ridiculous. Anywhere. We're going to have a look in here. So the ball pit and lo fi is still, uh, <laughs> still here in the spotlight. I do like this world. I'm going to make sure it's in my favorites. Um, there is. I saw it. Um, on another streamer, I want to attempt to beat hmm. I want to attempt to beat the social anxiety I'm going through. And the best way of doing that is there is a world that I saw today. 
um, but basically puts you in a room with someone else and you have like, I think a minute with each other. It's like speed dating, basically. Just talking to someone. Ooh. We'll go to this world for the moment. Yeah, yeah. We'll turn the, uh, turn the sound up. We'll go to the Windows XP world, because this world's chill as anything. Let me just, uh, let me just stop Pretzel for the time being. I love this world. <laughs> it's just so obscure. I was telling someone about it. Um, and they were like, you are like, you are mental. <laughs> it's like, what would you, why would, why would you like come to this? Like just, just a, a stable static Windows XP flag. And I was just like, sound because <laughs> this is all it is it's literally like you can climb that and there's a mirror it's like there's nothing else <laughs> this, is, this is literally like we just run up um maybe if i set this to this and then we like climb the windows xp flag But I sent, I sent like a picture. Um, but I sent like a picture to them and I was like, hey, look, I decided to chill tonight. And just the picture of like, I, I didn't send a picture actually, I sent a video. I took a video of it. Um, and they, they were like, I don't need to know what you get up to in your VR adventures. Uh, to which I just replied, don't worry, I've, I'm going to send you a, a video of the fur hub later. <laughs> and they said, no. <laughs> oh, jeez, right. I'm, I'm, <laughs> every time they say like, I'm a deviant and like some of the weird stuff I get up to in VR, I'm going to threaten them with a the fur hub and I'm going, I have promised them one day I will bring them into this. <laughs> and um, let them like roam for themselves. But I'm going to like show them around a few places first. This is going to be one of the worlds and the fur hub's gonna be the other one. Because I want to show them like some of the just weird, but some of the like things where if you're not part of that community, you'll feel a bit like I really shouldn't be here. And I feel like the fur hub's one of them. Or I might awaken something within him. And I don't like that. I don't like the idea that I could create a furry by taking a furry, a non furry to a, the fur hub. Hmm. That might be a bad idea after all. It just keeps going. So anyway, while I'm talking, I'm going to search for this world because it's got to be like relatively new, right? But basically it's a speed dating. And I kind of want to like have a go at it because I feel like it's going to... What's euphoria? 
Oh, so this is like a chill world. It's kind of a chill world. I love it when I have euphoria. And I'm sick of seeing hentai on the front page of the Archer. <sighs> We can go to custom body pillow maker. <laughs> go on. Go on, then. But sure we're on a private instance for this one. Okay. So we have to like stand here and then capture four. Oh no. No, 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 no. I don't like that. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Kinda weird looking into my own eyes. Yeah, I don't like this. <laughs> Wait. Alright, oh, now I definitely don't like it. <laughs> it's all over the place. That's weird. I know it's just the picture, but knowing that like that Oh my All right, I don't like this world. <laughs> Go on, what's, what's the mirror then? It's exactly what we think it is. It's a mirror. <laughs> that, that just freaks me out. Like, knowing that I could get that on a, on a pillow and it's just like, I could stare into my eyes at night and just cuddle it. Woo! It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't need me on a body pillow. Thank you very much. It's a, it's a lovely offer, but I think I might pass. It's like, just right now, like, you know, she's kind of begging. Kind of, right, no, we're going to leave it. We're going to leave it. Naughty, naughty, care. Stop it. So, outside of the realms of, um... Body Pillow Maker. I'm trying to find this world. See, there's another one. How is this not being monitored? This is ridiculous. See, I can't remember exactly what it's called, so I can't just... Uh... can't just go to it let's go to heart maybe it's on the heart maybe
because here's the thing, right? And why I want to uh, go here is because from what I saw, it's just one-on-one -on -one chats. And I feel like I can manage that. Because it's a start. Oh, yes. Uh, this isn't it, but... <laughs> um... Oh, wow, this is going to take a long time to download. Uh, this is rest and sleep paralysis, which I'm more than happy to um, give a go. back cool it keeps um, losing my uh, chat for some reason what are we on okay that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run an ad um, and hopefully by the time the ads are finished this is this world would be loaded rather than uh, we just sit here <laughs> in like this weird. Oh, nice. Okay, this is taking a long time. Look, I like to think of it this way. Right. This should be a limit on... Truth. Like... This is, this is kind of the problem, alright, is a lot of people can't take, like, truth. And sometimes we're scared to push that boundary. 
Um, and I see it sometimes. Like, some people are scared to push the boundary and say to people, hey, guess what? Like, I don't agree with you. Like, here's the thing. I will question like who you are and why I should care if you have these like really bad views that would usually be considered like bad taking a very long time unfortunately uh, it's not exactly what I planned but hopefully hopefully the world's worth it let's have a look who that's from ah isn't that funny it's from the VR chat discord let's see what they've got to say We are not aware that there have been any account breaches. Alright, so it's basically, this is, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's something else. <laughs> Did somebody ping everyone? Ah, uh, they're under attack. That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can see me laughing right now. So basically, they're running through like some of the channels and just like pinging everyone within the Discord. That's so funny. And it's like. What exactly do you think this is going to accomplish? I don't get it. What's going on? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, they're still trying. They're still trying. That's so funny. Ha 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 ha! Do you want to know what's so funny about it? I'm just, I'm looking now. And I'm actually looking at like, what? Is going on? <laughs> Look at this. The basically like, the running through. Um, the Discord and <laughs> right, they're running through the Discord and they're just like, <laughs> whoops, hello, I don't mean to alarm you. My headset seems to have died. So I can't see anything.
Uh uh. That's not good. <laughs> restart. If you restart all of your Oculus software will close and automatically relaunch. Should take about 30 seconds you'll lose unsafe progress need to manually close any VR apps you're using. Right, I'm going to restart um, just so I don't lose anyone. I'm going to software is coming back up. Okay, so Oculus is rebooted. The headset is showing nothing now. I didn't want to have to do that, but... Okay, here's what we'll do. Yep, close it. Cool. Steam VR. mad mega heat coming off the uh, computer. Whoa. Ah, it does this. It does this. Right. It's the uh, telling me this PlayStation is out of me. Out of the thing. Aha! We're back. We're gonna restart Steam VR. Uh, it's encountered an error. What's weird was the Oculus software was working. That's that's the weirdest part. Right, tell you what we'll do. <laughs> oh, this is typical, isn't it? It's like I'm so right. Oh yes, yes, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Then just decide. Yeah, you know what, okay, we're just gonna like really mess you up more than you have to be. <laughs> so let's 
exit Steam VR. Let's see if we can get the Oculus software to uh, to work. Close the Oculus software. Right, it's going to instantly start back up. I got sweet nothingness, right? Plug it back in. Okay, it's turned on. <sighs> the joy we get. Something about the display port cable, not interested. Right, right, it's working. So show me the screen. We can minimize that because we don't care about that. Show me Steam, right? I want to see Steam VR. So boot Steam VR for me. Trying to launch Steam VR. Let's see if this launches right. Okay, that's good. So that launched perfect. So now we want to launch for VR Toolkit. Perfect. So now that it's well, it's not all perfect because the actual mon the actual things it's aha, there it is. Right, so it's there now. And now we launch this. And just in the meantime I head back to here. Oh, the ridiculousness of this game. Right, and I turn this back to... Voila! We're going back to the cove, right? See? So we're gonna try and find it now. Because I wanna I wanna actually want to genuinely speak to people. Uh what's it called? Um I think there was time in the title. Um Well, I'll be honest, that doesn't really narrow it down. There was a neat one back here that I wanted to quickly have a look at. Hopefully this is this one isn't a mad download. It's not a mad download. But it's still going to take a minute. Perfect. I also realise you don't have the camera on. 
but we wouldn't have the camera on anyway if we were going to the place I wanted to go to. Yeah, never buy an Oculus, folks. It's not worth it. <laughs> Because, here's the thing, right, an oculus is only worth it if you're going to, um, buy oculus games, um, because in all light theory, I could run VR chat from oculus. But, I'd rather run it from Steam. And I think like that's like just the standard, isn't it? It's like the stand. I, I don't want to run from Facebook servers. Um, the sooner I can have rid of this headset, like the better. Um, ultimately, I want an index. Um, <laughs> but like, first off, I want to like, I want to overcome my, uh, I want to overcome my problems first before putting that kind of investment down, because that's like way more money than I put into this. I put like a really foolish amount of money. Well, it wasn't foolish. I said I don't want to put a foolish amount of money into something like that. You know, I don't want to put 900 quid into a headset when it requires tracking that I know that I can't put up yet. And the only way I'm going to get to put it up is when I move out. Oh, and make sure that I have enough room to do so. Wow, the connection's being like massacred at the minute. My internet's been spotty for a while. And that's just an issue we're gonna have to like kind of deal with. I can't tell it from my phone either because the connection here is spotty. So we're gonna do a timer, of course. Oh, cool. Right. I can, uh... I can silence pretzel. And we get, like, this amazing, um... Let's have a look at movements. Movement mode. The fly mode will destroy life in the time trial. Normal will make it uncompletable. Let's just leave that as it is. Oh wow, tracking's like mental. Let's leave it on the scooter. I like the scooter one. 
So press double jump. Oh, right, so we can double jump. Press use. Oh, wow. Hold jump against the wall to climb it. Let's do a tutorial. Jump pads propel you forward and upwards. <laughs> you can climb. You can climb the walls of almost any object. Simply hold and press the jump button. Jump power-ups will refresh your jumps and dives, allowing you to double jump dive again after grabbing them. Cool. Ugh. We can enter the teleport to go back. Cool. Right, that's pretty cool. Uh... Once you walk through this gate, the obstacle course will begin. Try to set the fastest time. Let me, uh, let me spin around. Right. Whew. Three, two, one. Wow, I had to like climb that one. Trying to like climb up here is whoa. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. This <laughs> making me um making me a little bit motion sick. Best time, one minute fifty. <sighs> you did it. <sighs> How do we get back? I'm going to try again. We respawn. That's how we do it. Let's go again.
Oh, we messed up. Twice. <laughs> climb, climb. All right, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Twenty-five. <sighs> Guess a heart pumping, you know. I think we can do better. I got a Discord notification. Ah, it's not. We are chat again. We mark as red. <laughs> Whew. Added this good notification. Right. I think we can do better. You hear me? I think we can do better. I do need to take my hand out of that, <laughs> that loop though. I think we can do better. Personally. We're gonna try it. We're gonna do like speedy guns out. Blah, 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 blah. Other like parkour stuff. I I do think the parkour stuff's like wrong. I don't think that's programmed the best way it could be programmed. <laughs> I I've never known any parkourists who can run directly up a wall. This is fun though. I'm liking this. Let's respawn. We'll go for peace and tranquility this time. I think we've messed up. Okay. We're gonna have to like, try it again. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Right, we made it. Come on, climb, 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 climb.
One minute nine. <sighs> crazy, right? Super crazy. Okay. I'm content with one minute nine. There's probably people that can be that, but <laughs> that's not me. Do I go to the ball pit? Check this world out. So this one's 50 megs. In that time, we can sit back down. <laughs> and we can kind of wait, I guess, for this to... Uh, for this to roll on. Do you see like how like bad my internet is? It's like that's so slow. But there's like no reason for it. It sucks, man. But like there's nothing I can do. I find it weird that my internet's so slow, actually, like, you know, like, streaming and stuff. Um, you know, trying to download maps. But I don't drop any frames. How's that work? Okay, so we're like 30% there. I'll tell you what, like, I genuinely, like, wanted to... Might have a go at was... One time ago, uh, um, league on stream, particularly TFT, but you know, that's that's a different story entirely. Basically, I want to like have a go at TFT on stream because I like TFT. I don't like League of Legends, but I think TFT is a pretty chill mode because it's just you 
and you know you, you're on your own um you don't have to put up with like this whole community and i feel like that's what it's all about you know and you know valorant's the same like i like valorant but i've had one occurrence in there that was like um jet you're ruining it and then it was like right well i don't want to play this game anymore <laughs> and that's just the way i am i'm a i am a pathetic um fool who can't take criticism <laughs> I feel like I'm spewing a lot tonight and I don't like it I have to be wary though because I can't I can't be on all night. Um, let me see if I can speed this up at all. Did we? Yeah, not really. Let's make, let's make things interesting a bit, shall we? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, there, nah, wasn't that interesting. for the internet big oof so where were we going again this is this is like another issue of mine I'm I'm like in my mind I am um, I'm saying to myself like hmm Yar be a treasure so far away. What is that? That is in my spyglass. Actually, Captain, that's just your hands. Ivashti. What be that in my spyglass? That be new. Uh, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just an idiot, dude. Like, I find that doing things like that is like what is funny to me. You know, it's like, I'm trying, I'm trying to keep it like, I'm trying to keep cozy vibes and things, and you know, those, those like thoughts coming back into my head. Not worth it, dude. It is not worth it. Just, uh, just sit back and relax. That's the way to do it. Cause who cares? <laughs> because look, I, I, I don't. I think that's just the way you've got to be like, you know. You know in those like films where like the super like the uptight people get like redone like the the one the main one that I see in like 
all the time because it's on TV all the time is uh, the Christian girl from Paul who obviously Paul is a, an alien um, and she's like super uptight about like you know Christian values and things you know the, the Lord shall repent and all that <laughs> and the funny thing about that is by the end of the film she's like yeah you know after she meets Paul she's kind of like oh yeah I'm actually questioning my fear flight and it's like I'm, I'll go out to these like things that I've been feared to go out to and things and I just feel like that's me like I'm stuck as like this believer deep believer of like Christianity and things and you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm fearful for the world outside. It's a bad, like, way to think about it, you know? It's like... Because you shouldn't really think about it that way, of, like, comparing religion to it. But that's, like, a prime example. And I feel like if you compare religion to that sort of stuff too much, you're just gonna like start to really like pee off people. Ah. Oh wow. I recently move this game to an SSD as well <laughs> um, particularly to avoid having this kind of interference and unfortunately the internet decides it wants to do this so roll on you crazy diamond I've completely forgot where we were going oh Hey, you almost have 4k hours on this fucking game. You literally almost have 4k hours on this game. I really like walking in the woods and doing like that stuff. I have a forest yeah. in like, in my biome. Oh shit! Really nice. Oh my god, we should have both hands walking through the woods. I love that. That's not what you want to hear when you come like into a world straight away. Yeah. Like, I remember him. Is this it? Yeah, he's, he's enjoying it. Bro. 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 Mm, it happened again. <sighs> okay, the way I look at it is, in that instance, there was quite a few people who were, um... <sighs> not speaking English, so we can use that as an excuse. In the... They didn't speak a language that I would be able to understand them with. Not necessarily a bad thing for them, but... <laughs> kind of does stop me, dude. So, basically, I'm trying to find 
one world in particular because I feel like I can actually like hold that conversation whereas that is like hmm maybe not you know let's have a let's have a gander let's see what's going on what was it called There's no... I mean... It's a small world. Right. I think this is it. I could be very wrong. <laughs> Which I probably am. Um, we're gonna try it though. Um... Okay, so we can... Right, let's get rid of that. I want to make sure that... Yep, we're all good here. We'll get some like chill. Options. We'll get that off. Uh, click on the Neo Sun to start matchmaking. You'll get matched with a random person. Conversations end every two minutes, or when you walk out the door. Every 20 minutes there's a group round. You can disable them in the options menu. So we can start matchmaking. Um, we also have the mirror. Um, but I'm going to do this because... And we're going to meet some lovely people, right? We're going to try and talk to them. Like, you know, like an actual person. It's like a way of helping me try to better myself. Okay, so there's nothing else, right? <laughs> Connecting. Yo. Yo. How you doing? What's poppin'? <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, nothing. To be honest, just I see nothing popping. No, I'm trying to overcome problems. Problems. Social anxiety. What kind of problems? Uh yes, my favorite kind of problem. <laughs> it's definitely not know. mine. Yeah, I don't mm. like it. It's, it's, uh, uh, yeah. And that's so why I'm hanging about in here. <laughs> so, if you're a candle. What's that? What's your favorite candle? Candle? 
I don't know, something sweet. Maybe cherry. Cherry scented candle. Ah. Uh, Mary's. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's yours? What have we got? <laughs> uh. Uh, blue raspberry. And yeah, something like that. Or like something <laughs> strong. Or like a flower. Nice. Like bourbon. Yeah. Lit. Is lit. The Poggers. Thank you. Um, thank you, Fidelian. Um, Fid... Fidelian? I think I'm saying that right. Thank you. How are you doing today? Thanks for joining us. Wanted to make sure I took the time there to... To thank you, I, I saw you connect and... <laughs> Let's keep going. Hi. Hi. Can you hear me? I can. Oh, so this is how it works. We get randomly... We get randomly together in one room, yeah? Yes, for uh, uh, however long, because <laughs> that certainly doesn't look like two minutes. Like it doesn't look Hi. that way. Okay, it's my first time in this world. Ah, we've got it's something nice. in common then. <laughs> it flew away. Is your first time in here? Yeah. Just trying to talk oh. to people, because this way it's easier, uh, you know, one on one. Rather than being yeah. dropped into a room of people and trying to interject in a conversation. Do you have social anxiety? Yes. Introvert? Yes. <laughs> so you're confronting your fears, that's very brave of you. I'm trying. Oop! Oop! Tried to scare you. <laughs> oh, you British? Me too, you high five. <gasps> yeah. Oh, well, how come you have your name on your, um, thing? Because I, I put it there. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what do you do? You a Twitch streamer? Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Which part of UK are you from? Uh, Northern. How do you know? Yeah. How do you? How do you know I was from the UK? You speak. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell. I don't know how everyone can tell. How you? <laughs> Your accent. Accent. Now I'm really good at steaming my accents because they keep switching like crazy. But sometimes, you know, I like to speak a little bit British. You know, sometimes, you know. <laughs> it must just be me. I must, I must be dead to. I must be completely like tone deaf. I can't, I can't tell that I'm speaking a British accent. Ooh, who, are you, who have you met, Batman? What? What? Who have you met yet? Like, me? Anyone go? Not yet. The first match. Gee, have you met Naya? I haven't. Oh, it's your first match. Shit. Nice yeah. seeing you. Hey there. <laughs> hey. <laughs> this is a fun game, isn't it? 
No. <laughs> I, 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 So. <laughs> fun reaction. Uh, I, I have, I have trouble with this, so. I'm, I'm trying. So I'm probably one of the least like interesting ones that you'll come across, but <laughs> we got five. Like not not in a weird way. Like you're fine. You're not boring. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright to say that I am. <laughs> How are you Should doing? Quest? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing okay. As of this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Were you better before this moment? Or... No. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're so you're doing better. I'm doing better. It was fun like talking to you. Ow. <laughs> Yo, how's it going? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How's your day going so far? Uh, I'm doing okay. Been a bit boring. How's your day been? More important questions. Been all day. That's why I'm getting drunk as hell. <laughs> I suppose that's the best way to deal with Wait, that. Where are you from? Well, someone else managed to decipher where I was from. Uh, just from my voice, apparently. <laughs> the UK up north. Again. Am I right? Uh... <laughs> I'm right. You're right. Uh, I, I know because I'm from the UK as well, so I could tell. Huh. But I'm, I'm Southern boy, innit? <laughs> I that find it insane. I didn't laugh at you, what the hell? I find it insane that people can pick it up just off the accent because I can't do that. Yeah. You know what I found that is when you said the word apparently, I heard it. <laughs> That's what gave you away. Ah, uh, I've got to work on that then. <laughs> what are you thinking, mate? Accent's fine. And I don't want people to know where I'm from just based off my voice. <laughs> the Americans won't know. Oh man, right, Americans won't know, Americans do know, <laughs> Canadians know, Americans know, uh, everybody knows, and now, up north, ah great, we're kind of doxing myself here, that's perfect isn't it, I'm a northern girl, maybe I should like go in like this, you know, maybe with like, a different accent. No, that's offensive. I can't do that. Sorry to do that for Ace Attorney, but I can't be doing that to other people. Oh, I think I'm crying because it's... <sighs> okay. Let's go again. Hi there.
I'm sorry if you talk and I can't hear you. I'm sorry, I can't hear you if you are talking. Just keep doing. Oh my god, am I okay? I'm okay. Oh, sorry, hi there. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> what the fuck am I? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm having troubles clapping <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> Hi there. How's your day been? It's been alright, it's been alright. And yours? No, it was alright. Nothing too major. Um, do you do a lot or? No, I'm I'm just I'm just boring. <laughs> Stayed in bed. I don't, <laughs> that's why you end up here. Pre you, pretty much. <laughs> uh, you like it so far? It's kind of weird sometimes, but it, it can be good. It's a bit nerve wracking. That's <laughs> that's a major thing here. Yeah, right. Everyone's Imagine been people like speed date like this. Like, this is a more for friends, right? But people actually speak date like that, that sounds very funny to me. Well, that's what instantly came into my mind when I saw it. I thought, ooh, it's kind of like speed dating. <laughs> I think it can be both. It can be both. It can be speed dating. But it can also be just talk. Well, it's, it's better like this. Yeah, just... I guess. Ah. <laughs> uh... Well, I'm just great time study. Your time is over. I'll see you in the group room again. Thanks for meeting you. What's hanging out there, dude? <laughs> There's some squeaking happening in the oh, background. No, it's Sounds like a... That's my bird. It's your bird? What kind of bird? Hmm? A princess parrot. Nice. <laughs> Have you seen a... Uh, a Russian girl? I think so. I don't know if she's a Russian girl or if she's just got a Russian name. She has a Russian name. I think so then. She's one of the first I connected to. <laughs> you are fitting like a unique dynamic. <laughs> with this. You're doing like a chip ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just being fat. <laughs> oh, look, time is almost up. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, I need more, I need more uh, ASMR. What was that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, dude, like that hit like so many nerves in my mind because I don't like that. I don't like 
like people eating like especially loud like that like but something about like that just I don't know what it was right let's let's do another let's do another Cool, we're doing some searching. We'll search, we'll search. It's you again. Hey. <laughs> Second time again. around. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, yes. I, just, we're used to film, you know? I just came across like probably the strangest thing. Um chip oh. ASMR. Like, there was a guy eating oh. chips. Well, crisps. He was eating crisps. Really? It was just ASMR in, on the table. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I guess people can be into that. I'm not sure. <laughs> For the whole two minutes, though? Oh, the yeah. The whole two minutes, just eating? Oh, my God. Well. <laughs> that was great. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I wouldn't. Did you not get out? You know, there's a door you can jump out of if, if people get a little bit. Uh. Hey, Trail Mix. Hi. You've um done some artwork. Look at my, look at my circles. <gasps> nice. Beware of the banana man. The banana man? Who's he? Yeah, beware of the banana man. Huh? He's, what? He's a creepy person who told someone that they wanted to make milkshakes in his, their mouth. Oh, yeah. Be creepy. I'll give him a firm talking to if I come across him. I don't know if he's still here. He says he likes my circle. <gasps> that one's perfect! What's your favorite food? Uh, I don't really have one. Uh, name something you would eat. That I'd eat? Um. Uh, um. Any food. Pizza, spaghetti, tacos, sushi, um, Chinese food. I like fruit bowls. Oh. Like a mixed fruit uh, bowl. I like trail mix. I, I can... I can gather. <laughs> I got you before. I know. You did. Question coming yeah. from question question coming from someone who I've just been with. Have you met the banana man? For sure, yeah. I say yes. Where is he and what is he like? <laughs> There's a banana, I think. <laughs> Where is he? The milkshake in your mouth? That's the one. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, which one is it? I need to, uh... <laughs> I need to have a firm word with him. I don't know. Well, if you have it, crazy fingers. Ah, there he is. I see him. I'll have a firm talking to him. Don't worry about that. No one's being creepy on this. Firm talk. Oh, it'd be a firm talk. How firm? Firm. <sighs> <Like>. uh... <laughs> 
how firm? <laughs> like, yeah, how firm of a talk are you gonna have with him? Hmm. Like a like a dad talk. I don't have a dad, but ah, <laughs> oh. you know. It'll be a firm talking too. Like, he won't do it again once I'm once I'm oh. done with him. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. I've been told to warn you. Well, I'm trying to overcome some social issues. Um, oh God, what is this warning about? But now I've... I've been given a task, apparently. I need to warn people about the Banana Man. <laughs> uh, Have you seen him? No, not yet. Um, you need to be careful around him. I'm, w I'm waiting for the opportunity to what meet is, myself. What is he doing? He's promising people things of a questionable nature. Mm. <laughs> and I'm 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 on I'm on I'm on, I'm on, I'm on the duty of telling him off. <laughs> oh, it's, it is about that time for all the interesting people to be hopping on. So that's not out of the ordinary. It's not out of the ordinary. <laughs> no, no. Uh -oh. there's, a, there's a certain time you'll be on where all the interesting people, and strange people, and weird people like that, will be getting on. I always remember. Th I always remember that the. Uh, be getting on. I remember the person who jumped on one time with like the naked monkey avatar. I remember that one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm? I was, was it about this time? Was it about the same time as this? Roughly. It's like 11. Mm. Yeah. Nope. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. What's goody? How you doing with your, your blue trails on your hands? My fucking blue trails? I'm doing... <gasps> Pretty pug. How are you? How you doing with you with your purple? No, not purple. Sorry, pink sweater. Sorry, I'm <laughs> <laughs> purple. Uh, what is that boy? I'm doing good. I must be that obsessed with purple then. That's good. You've got like better than better than uh. Shit. Hmm. Hmm. You've got like full body tracking. That's awesome. Yeah, I do. I actually, uh, do a little bit of dancing. So. Nice. Only only issue is my hip trackers in my front right now. So if like say if I try to like shuffle right now, it's gonna like be very bouncy and that's nothing. It's gonna look weird. So I usually put it on the side for when I'm doing that kind of stuff. So but yeah, no, it's really fun to do that. That's great. I I can't do that. I love it. <laughs> I'd love to at some point, like... Everyone has their own music, so... Mm -hmm. Just learning to dance as well. Things like that. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> it's not an easy task. It's something that you have to, like, dedicate yourself to, but that's with anything that, like, people do anyway. Whether it comes to drawing, music, anything at all. You learn as you go, pretty much. <laughs> nice. Who's this little... Do that. Oh, it's a uh, Pokemon. Time's about to run out, by the way, so I'll see you later, though. Hello. Hello. Why are you not inside me? I can't 
can't live without skeletons. What the fuck? Yeah, I, 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 you mean you mean organs and skin? And I am very much alive. Oh, you're not my skeleton, right? That makes sense. Silly me. Yeah, no. What the fuck? That <laughs> is the weirdest fucking thing to say to somebody. You literally. I'm not even. I have this one. We. I don't know who the fuck she is. I have to figure. Let me check. But I don't know what. She's doing. <laughs> it was a uh, little. <laughs> it was kind of weird. Like in my opinion, they didn't talk at all, but they kind of just like sat there and was just messing with my face. I don't I don't know why. And I said before you do anything weird, I'm a minor. I'm not even in high school yet. And then they left after that because the time ran out. Yeah, uh, this is some weird people. Yeah, I've been warned about the banana man. You need to be careful of the banana man if you encounter him. The banana man. Oh yeah, be careful of him. I think I'll be well prepared. I'll be well prepared. <laughs> yes. So what you up to? I'm on the hunt. Oh. It's gonna be a joke. <laughs> I was just about to, like, the minute I said joke, yeah, I was gonna be like, What's up, hot sauce? I think I just made, like, a, I think I just made an inappropriate joke to the uh, skeleton. No, no, I feel, I feel a bit. You know, it's hit me in the heart a bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's an alright guy. I'm sleep. I see them. I'm just gonna go stranger danger, stranger danger. <laughs> <laughs> How's your day been, Oak? I'll ask some proper questions for the time runs out. Really good. What is? What? What's what's your what's your what's your favorite food? Uh, I don't have one in particular, but probably uh, popcorn, chicken, um, chicken gravy. Nice. I had that answer. I don't have like a favorite food. I got asked that by someone else, yeah. and I wanted to see if like. I was just like the only person. <laughs> nah, I just go like for everyone. Let everything on top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> like. What's your name? Okay. Who are you? It's Kay. Hey. Oh, it actually says my name's Kay. It's a party name. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Takachi Tsuraka. Hello. Is this your first day here? Yeah. The first time. Oh. I would ask. <laughs> I've jumped oh. around. Uh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't, I'm, <laughs> I'm this tall. I'm this tall normal. How's your day been? There you go. I'm taller. <laughs> my day. My day's been. Pretty, <laughs> my day's been pretty good today. I was with family and like doing Christmas things. So we're like making small decorations, like um, with the um, what are they called again? Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> the things you light up. Um. <laughs> Candle! Candle! 
English is not my first language to say no. Okay, that's what I'm about it. It's alright. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're making, like, Christmas decorations and stuff like that. Oh, it's super cool. So, like, chill. <laughs> You've had a fun day. With my sisters. Mm. Yeah, they're getting home from your heart. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, though? What have you been up to? Oh. I haven't been up to much, to be honest. Yes. Maybe you think that. But maybe what you've been doing is. That He's still in this world somewhere. I'm sorry, your avatar's still a lot of infamous, so I, I don't really think I can hear you. I don't know if that stopped me. Ah, oh, there was your avatar. This, there was someone else that had that same thing. They just didn't speak. So I thought that was uh, a feature that got implemented. How's your day been? Uh, huh? How's your day been? It's been good. How about yours? I haven't done much, but I'm alright. <laughs> I've mainly been here all day. Quick question. Have you met Mr. Have you met Have you met Mr. Banana yet? Uh, yeah, I immediately left. What exactly did he say to you? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I didn't even give him a chance. I felt uncomfortable. He started walking straight at me. <laughs> I'm on the hunt for I this. Just back with <laughs> I'm on the hunt for this banana. I'm going to like. I'm gonna shat him. He's, <laughs> he's, I've been told about multiple complaints. So I feel like I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and tell this creep that he's a bit weird. I said stop. <laughs> Just keep jumping through. Hello? You're a... You're a big lady. You had a good day? Bit iffy. Ah, that sucks. Might not be able to tell. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to smile. There's no emotion on the avatar. I'm sorry, I'm freezing up. <laughs> that made me a bit... Hi, Kiwi. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? 
Same, I guess. <laughs> Sam? <laughs> have, you, have you done much today? From... Um... I was... Uh, it was a good Sunday for a Sunday, I guess. Could be That's better, good. could be worse. At least you feel content in the day. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know really. I, it's it's a. I don't know that word. But at least you feel like. Contempt. Uh, at least you feel like. You haven't wasted the day away. Hmm. Yeah, it's. Hmm. I haven't raced it, but I didn't use it as much as I could. But it's a Sunday, you don't need to use it there. Yeah. Yeah. Big brain. Um, where are you from? Uh, care to garner a guess? Um, other people have managed to guess, apparently. <laughs> I didn't understand very. I'll try and catch you again, and I'll tell you again the next time I come round. How do? You? Yeah. That's okay. I don't understand, like, the reasoning behind coming in and being mute. <laughs> it's, it's not... I will hunt this banana down if it's the last thing that I do. Where is it? Let's have him. Beware the banana. I feel like I'm doing something weird when I'm telling people to do that. I finally found you. Oh, hello. You know me? I know, I know of you. Yeah, the people said the things about me. Oh, they've told me exactly all about you. They've told me all about you. <laughs> okay, and they give my defense to you? No, no, I'm no. gonna give you porn, banana, your chat, dot com. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. And tell what? me, tell me about you. I'm all right, you know. You um, you definitely impose like an aura. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where are you from? Where are you from? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that definitely did like 
Um. Can I block? I don't want to friend him. Can I report for like behavior or something? No, because he's not any of those either. Oh man. Um Behavior, avatar. No, you can't do him for the avatar. Uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll just block him. I don't need that guy in my life. Um... And he definitely gives off an aura of questionable nature. Um... Hmm. He was imposing. He was super imposing. Um, especially with the whole like, mm, yes, hmm, sort of vibes. <sighs> My mission has been fulfilled. I didn't give him a firm talking to. He creeped me out. Like. I think that's his goal, you know? It's like, his goal is the creep. Which, fair enough if that's what he wants to do, but, like, I don't want to be a part of it. Hey, we'll just wait. Let's turn the group rooms on. Hey there. Dude, watch out watch out for the banana. I'm doing good. There's a banana running around in the rooms. Just be careful of him, he's a bit mm -hmm. strange. Uh, it's okay. I'm not I'm not too worried about it. It'll be okay. I'm doing good though. How are you doing? That's good. Good to hear. I'm alright, just a little worried. A little worried? Yeah, about a computer that I want to get to run VR. Okay, why are you why are you a bit worried about it? Uh, well, I mean, I get told here, I get told several different things about the computer, and I don't know if it's gonna work because people, some people tell me it's gonna never, it's not even gonna load VR chat. Then people tell me it's going to. It's like nobody knows what they're talking about. Everything can load VR chat. If you have a dedicated GPU, well, yeah. it can do it. I mean, for VR, because I'm hooking up VR. Yeah, uh, a, sing a single display port would do it. And a USB port. I mean, port. it's not just that. I mean, it's like, will it will it not lag? I don't want it to lag too bad. Ooh, uh... If you get in, like, I a decent... Specs decent... The computer. We haven't got much time. <laughs> It's okay. I can just tell you that's all. I mean, it's just a Radeon GTX 1650. That should do it. How do you do? Good, thank you. Good, good. Word of warning. Okay, I found this word. <laughs> <laughs> what? Word of warning. 
Watch out! Watch out for the banana. Yeah, I, I met him before. <laughs> I turned my volume to zero and was a little bit close to jump from there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I run a circle, circle of the table <laughs> and mute me and volume zero. I attempted to give him a, a harsh talking to because a couple of people that asked me before um but the guy just yeah. creeped me out big time <laughs> he said a few words and i was snowed out i think it, i think it's, it's probably, it was a mother tone it was there mm, yes yes <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. the, the picture was too creepy <laughs> all. it's all right but at, the, uh, at the beginning of the chest, it goes uh, sideways. The, <laughs> the peeled part of the banana. He's gone now. He can't hurt you. Don't don't okay. let it dwell on you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all right. <laughs> okay. I want every Do we unblock the banana so he can come back? Look at that, 25 ping. I had to leave that. I can. I'm. I'm not unblocking the banana. I'm. I really don't like him. <laughs> I haven't blocked anyone in this game yet. He was the first. At least I don't think I blocked anyone. Can you see who you've blocked? I don't think you can. He's still in the world. I don't like him though. Uh, what time are we on? Half eleven. Um. I think. Let me serve this world. Because I may do a stream tomorrow. Uh, we'll save it in worlds two. But I might do one of these tomorrow. Um, morning. But I think I'm going to stop now. But thank you for sticking around. Sticking around to chat to people. To try and overcome some social anxiety issues. And even though those conversations are weird. And kind of misconstrued and convoluted. The conversations we have with people. And they can help us, even if they are disconnected and and weird. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you the next time I see you, which hopefully soon. Take care of yourselves, and have a wonderful. Wonderful night.